Okay, Greg, so this is the uh, control system which you were just about to explain to us uh, here that's operating. So, away you go. Uh, Bill, you're looking at the world's most advanced uh, solar kiln control system. Arguably, uh, control system for all kilns. There aren't too many as advanced as this in the world today. This is the basic uh, operator uh, screen in the control room, the main control room at the side of Mordialic. The representation you see there is uh, four kilns. We've got three kilns on site at the moment operating and there's another one to come within the next month or so. Right, yeah. Um, the, the system of operation is basically to click buttons, very user friendly. We go to kiln three, for instance, click that button, we get a representation of what's happening in the kiln. You can see here that the, the kiln is on solar mode, the weather station has detected that there's sunlight. Right. It's gone into heating mode and is using all the energy out there that it can, can muster from mm -hmm. the sun. The fans are moving in that direction, which is the reverse direction. Outside air humidity, uh, temperature is 23 degrees, 55 for humidity and 36 wind speed. Yeah. Each one of those, we don't have that there just for information sake, they've got important roles to play within the sophisticated control system. The temperatures forward reverse of the airflow as the timber goes as represented here. We can see that as the air goes through the stack, it's, um, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, getting hotter, on, uh, getting cooler as it goes through, and more humid on the opposite side. We can see here that it's, the kiln is saying that to start the heater, but the heater's not on at the moment. So it's below temperature, the set point, which is here, 30 degrees, and it's, and it's 27 at the moment in the kiln. So we've turned the heater off and, um, and it's deactivated. So we could also uh, go from there back to a data log viewer. And this is again software written by, by Australian Choice Timber that's integral to the operation of the kiln. Here we see solar intensity at the bottom. We can log um, and see what the actual intensity of the light was. That's mm -hmm. uh, multiply that by three and we've got watts per square metre. So we've been generating up to 15 or 20 watts per square meter on, on every square meter of the solar collectors. That's equivalent in a, in a, in a day of enough heat to heat potentially 10 houses. Right, okay. Uh, so we've got weather, ambient temperatures, uh, kiln temperatures, forward and reverse. We've got the humidity levels inside the kiln. There's a control line. We've set it for 65% and the system is operating to maintain that. You can see the vents here have been operating and opening to reduce humidity and at times a water spray has been coming on automatically to boost humidity depending on the condition of the kiln. Right. Very important we control the conditions inside the kiln very, very minutely. So we're able to see this from here on site, use it for process optimization, but most importantly we're able to use this from as a system of monitoring from afar. I can log in to this kiln from wherever I may be with a wireless, um, a wireless uh, laptop and see exactly what's happening in fact control. So all of okay, so we'll go out and have a look at the uh, kilns outside and uh, we can actually see what the impact is of um, using this control system, okay? Okay. So this is timber ready to go off to Malaysia, is it? That's our first, uh, oh, sorry, our second load of red gum from this side. Uh, almost ready to go to Malaysia. What you're looking at here is 100% of the material directly out of the kiln. So all we've done is de-racked it, put it in the pack, and done no trimming or docking. That's it as it comes. So no rejects, every piece of winner. That's fantastic. Thanks, Greg.